Your attention, everyone. The Knights of Saros and our most trusted allies have gathered. We have rallied our troops for the purpose of stopping the Adrestian Empire's efforts to rule all. We have prepared a new flag to fight under. Much like the Professor, it bears the Crest of Flames. I hope everyone finds this suitable. Beneath this flag, we will bring back peace to the great land of Fodlan. Professor, I am not sure I understand. Why is the Empire intent on making an enemy of the Church? <sighs> Quite perplexing. If the Church disappears from Fodlan, I wonder if the Empire thinks that it will benefit them in some way. In truth, I feel that it will only confuse the people. I have no idea what Edelgard was thinking or how she arrived at the decision to raise an army. However, I do have some small insight as to what she is after. She is attempting to destroy the existing social order. That is why the Church of Seros is first on her list of institutions that must be destroyed. It may very well be her goal to rebuild Fodlan from the ground up. I see. But that is only Edelgard's desire, is it not? I cannot imagine that the people of Fodlin would want that for themselves. She may have high ideals, but she certainly lacks any compunction about throwing the world and its people into an awful war. It just seems so illogical. You have a point, Flane. I do not believe the people will ever understand her aim. So long as she makes the people suffer, our Knights of Seros will fight on and strive to protect them. If we do not defeat Edelgard and retake control of this world, Fodlan's future shall be as dark as night. Thank you, dear brother. I finally feel I understand what is going on. I am always happy to answer your questions, Flame. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Well, um... Actually, I have a question for the Professor. My brother mentioned that you slumbered for five years. Where was it that you slept? The bottom of a valley? In the water? That certainly sounds frigid. I would never choose such a place myself. I am surprised you did not fall ill. Pardon the intrusion, but we must prepare a counterattack. Now! It seems the Imperial Army found out about us entering the monastery. Hmm. That is sooner than expected. They must have been spying on us. I wonder if we can win on our own. There aren't many of them. It looks like we'll just be facing the ones who were stationed nearby. Did they move on us too soon? Perhaps if we fight by using the land to our advantage... Of course. If we are careful, we will not lose. Never again will those Imperial scoundrels disgrace Garrig Mach with their presence. Onward, Professor! Though preparations are still being made to raise troops for the Resistance Army at Garrig Mach, the Imperial Army is already one step ahead. Anticipating the Resistance Army's actions, General Randolph and the Imperial Vanguard, under his command, begin their advance toward Garrig Mach to reclaim the monastery. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. Clever tactics are our only hope here. We will use fire to deal with the main enemy force. Report! The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mach. If we allow them to take the interior, the monastery will be lost. We must drive them back. I will prevail. With all of my might! Witness Bridget Pride! Just like that. 
What's my strategy? Another victory. Sunshine. The joke of a life drags on. More fighting. It's win or die. All of us. your weakness. Well done! I'm in. Don't expect any sympathy. Why not? to this. I'll try harder too. Onward. What? That strange battle flag is... But isn't our enemy the Church of Saros? They didn't have enough soldiers with just the Church, so they upped their numbers by joining with those filthy rogues. It doesn't matter what flag they fly. They're nothing more than a mob. We'll destroy them all! Once I've decided you're done, you're done. Too weak! Wonder there's a bounty on my head. Yeah. <laughs> Our troops. Troops are preparing the attack. Protect them until they reach their destination. Sunshine. Oh! Only 
I shall know how you die here. I will prevail. I fight for justice's name. What's my strategy? Onward. I'm in. Don't expect any sympathy. Why not? Better you than me! I came out on top. This time, keep it going. I do this for all of us. Guide me well. Oh, yeah. More fighting.
Won't be in vain. Only I shall know how you died here. Goddess, my regards, yeah. Is prepared. Now we just need to draw the enemy's attention. Traitors! Repent of your sins, and the goddess may yet show you mercy. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me. Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Now, begin! Fire attack! The damage is too great! We can't fight anymore! All units retreat! I'll take on our pursuers! Carry away the injured soldiers! Press the attack! Give them no quarter! Let's <laughs> go. 
Winning is what matters. Good going. You ready to bleed? Oh. <laughs> Smells like a brawl. Very impressive. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. All this violence, and for what? Finished it. A total loss. But we can't just return home like this. Watch out, Professor. They're coming for you. My house for justice. I will not be defeated. Mother, please. I'm so. We face a powerful enemy today. But Garrig Mach will remain secure. We drove back the Imperial Army. The real fight has only just begun. I never thought I'd be fighting Randolph. I guess it can't be helped, seeing as how I've left my own territory and all. But. What will I do if my father or brother get involved? I really don't want to face them. Too true, Professor. So long as the Empire is our enemy, we cannot avoid fighting those we are acquainted with. Though I suppose I have it easier, since my house is no longer on the Empire's side. My friends from the Opera said they would leave the capital and go west. So at least I won't be seeing them in battle. Hmm. I don't think I care if my own house falls. Let's make it a grand fight. After a grand nap, of course. It does not give me happiness to have the people of Bridget involved. But it is not the time to be thinking of that. If it is a possibility, I will be having their strength. I don't mind at all, really. I have no friends anyway, and my father hasn't done much to make me care for him. Not that he'd ever step on a battlefield anyway. Oh. But I do wonder how Mother is doing. Each of our situations is unique. What we share is companionship, and the will to fight as one. Professor, you are the heart of our efforts. We will support you as best we can. I have a proposal. It would be most difficult to fight the Imperial Army with the forces we have now. As such, I believe we should send messengers to whatever lords we can trust in the Kingdom and the Alliance, so that we may gain their support. Do you agree? It is heartening to hear you say that. If all we do is bide our time, our enemy's main army will come down upon us like a hammer from above. Who are you planning to ask? Sadly, House Karen is out. We can trust them, but they have no help to offer. Hmm. 
How about House Daphne of the Alliance? Their leader is sure to at least respond. Judith, the hero of Daphne. Yes, that is a fine suggestion. That territory is on the border of the Kingdom and the Alliance. It has not yet been claimed by the fires of war. If they agree to lend us their troops, our forces will be greatly strengthened. We shall send along a secret messenger at once. 